Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really different, relaxing and interesting questions. And in this video we have this question, we have 8 divided by 4 divided by 8 divided by 4. On the first side this is a very simple question, we don't have like a huge numbers right here, we have only 8, only 4 and we have all the time division. So what is the correct answer? Right here we have 3 options, A, B and C, so it's not like a lot of options right here, only 3 options. So right now I suggest you to pause the video real quick and we'll solve it by yourself. We'll check our answers here in just one minute, so right now we can easily pause the video and write your option down into the comment section. It will be really interesting, just trust me, it is very, a very tricky question, yeah? So here's our question, I want to write it, this question right here, so we have 8 divided by 4 divided by 8 and divided by divided by 4. So here is our question. And I want to start with this solution. I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I want to start with this solution. So take a look closely. 8 divided by 4. We all know from school that this is the basic division. 8 divided by 4 equal to equal to 2. Then we have the same expression right here on the right hand side. <coughs> 8 divided by 4 equal to 2 as well. And with this 2 in the middle we have 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1. We have this option. This is option A. So it looks like absolutely correct solution. Yeah, we have on the left 2, we have on the right 2, we divide it, we have, we have 1. So it looks like a correct solution. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I want to show you another solution. And then we will compare both solutions and we will choose one which is absolutely correct. So right here we jump from left to right, I don't know if this is correct or incorrect, but let's look at the correct order of operation. Because obviously whatever order of operation we select right here is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. So this is without an order right here, we just go from left to right, in the middle we have option A and just imagine this is correct. Yeah, I don't know about it, but let's solve it according to PMDMC. So the second case, it was our first case and let's go to the second case. Second case, we have 8 divided by 4 divided by 8 and divided by 4. So let's look according to this correct order of operation. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so we just need to go through the steps real quick. So the first step, parentheses. Now we need to scan, where do we have these parentheses right here? Let's look at it. So our question is without parentheses, which is really great. So we can easily skip this part, because with parentheses this question is like more complicated question, we don't have it, it's really great. Okay, exponents. What about exponents? Where do we have this exponent in our question? I don't see any exponent, we don't have any squares, cubes, so we, just, so we just skip this part. And it's really great because with parentheses and exponent, is this question will be like uh, more complicated, we need to find really interesting tricks, but we don't have it, it's really great. Okay, what is the next step? The next step is multiplication, but a lot of students do this common mistake, they say okay, multiplication, then we need to find multiplication signs. We need to look at it as a group, because multiplication and division, this is one common group, and we need to find multiplication and division signs from left to right, real quick, let's do this. Division sign, we need this part, the next part, division sign, we need this part, and the last step, division sign, we need this part. So all the time we have division, we don't have multiplication, but doesn't matter, we have division, so this is our this is our case. We need to solve this question. And moreover, we don't have addition and subtraction part. We don't have it. So only we have division part. So how can we solve this part with division part, with division sign? And doesn't matter, you have division sign, multiplication. Uh, you need to know one really important moment. You need to go from left, from left to right. Doesn't matter, multiplication and division. If you have a long expression like that, you need to go from, from left to right. So three, three division sign. Which one is first from left to right? Here's our main question. The first sign, of course, this from left to right. Right here, this is in the middle, this is on the right hand side, this is on the left hand side. So a divided by 4, this is our first step right here. So a divided by 4 equal to equal to 2. Two, and right here we have this expression, we just write it, so 2 divided by 8 divided by 4. So from this expression we have we have this one. As you can see the first step is right here, but really important moment, the second step will be completely another as right here, because we still have all division signs, but in, the, in this way the first sign from left to right is this one, 2 divided by 8. So we need to divide 2 divided by 8. So we have, we have 2 divided by 8, we need to start with this, 2 divided by 8, it will be equal to 1 over 1 over over 4, yeah, 1 over 4. And we divide it right here, so this is this division, and the last step we still have this division by 4. So 1 4 is divided by 4, equal to 1 over over 16. 
option C. We have this option. It's it's really great. So as you can see, we have two true answers. This one, one option A and one over 16. I think a lot of you choose one option. This option A is a correct answer, but I won't tell that this is absolutely wrong solution because you cannot jump from left to right and this in the middle. So as you can see, whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer. Right here you want to jump from left to right, but this is absolutely incorrect in terms of mathematics. Yeah. So if you put parentheses right here, yeah, it will be correct answer. If you put parentheses, but right here we don't have any parentheses. Yeah. Now you need to. You need to reject this option, but with parentheses is absolutely correct. It's okay, yeah? But we don't have parentheses, so we reject this option A. Option B is absolutely incorrect. And of course, this uh, this uh, solution is according to a correct order of operation, so we can easily say that a correct answer is option option C. From left to right, step by step by step. So our answer, this is option. Option C is a correct answer to this question, yeah? So thank you for your time. I hope you understand this explanation. If you still have any question, write a question into the comment section and wish you all the best. I have a lot of content on my channel. I hope you enjoy it. So thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.